Kirk, you ready? I'm gonna join you. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. What we have, baby? Come okay, on. so the last video, um, the recipe that I shared in the last video I did was me doing the lasagna. Lasagna. Okay, so at the end of that video, I did a little poll and asked what y'all wanted to see me cook next. And everybody picked lamb chops. Voila. So tonight we will be cooking the lovely lollipop, lollipop lamb chops. Lamb. Yes. So these are lollipop lamb chops. So they're small. We're going to prepare those with sweet potatoes that already have boiling over here. I'll show you that in a second. Mm -hmm. And some spinach. Now we came up with this idea of the lamb chops on top of a bed of sweet potatoes with a side of spinach because that is one of our most popular dishes at Frost Bistro. Yes, it is. But Frost Bistro isn't open right now. We'll be opening soon. So until then, we're going to make it at home. What you yep. going to say? We're just going to show them how to make it. It's one yes. of my favorite dishes. So what we're going to start off with is Kirk is going to cut the lamb chops Let's because they come it. on their little rack, mm -hmm. rack of lamb chops. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to cut those up and then we're going to season them. I'll show you the seasoning and we'll go from there. And this is a pretty quick meal. And it's a quick meal, y'all. And another thing is to go ahead and turn your oven on 375. All right, so Kirk is cutting our chops off of the rack. He's doing a good job. Trying to. Trying to. Trying to. <laughs> Look, I didn't told y'all now. We ain't professionals. We just foodies. We love to eat good. And since we've been quarantined, we've had all the time to cook all the things that we like. So Kirk is cutting those. And what we're going to season the lamb chops with tonight is going to be garlic powder, roasted garlic and herb, Tony's Trio, garlic pepper, and nature seasoning. So we'll cut these up and then we will get ready to saute them in the skillet with some avocado oil. And you gotta now you cut. got some elbow grease. No, you have to get these like right in the middle so the meat be like evenly distributed. You know, you don't want no little crackhead looking lips. Yeah, you, need that. <laughs> you need these joints. Little right. skinny joints. Let's see. Yeah. See, these is like perfect. Oh, you did that. Yeah. So those look really good. You gotta All get right. these joints like right down the middle while kirk is cutting lamb chops we got our sweet potatoes boiling we're gonna make mashed sweet potatoes all right so kirk is done cutting our lamb chops don't they look amazing and yes we thoroughly clean these before he started cutting i'm seasoning first with garlic pepper i mean excuse me garlic powder then i'm gonna add some roasted garlic and herb that's what i put on mine these are nice chunks, not super, it's not a heavy seasoning, so you're good with that. I love garlic, I love herbs. Tony's Creole, not too crazy. We'll dust across, we'll do some garlic pepper. And lastly, we'll do a little nature seasoning. I know it looks like a lot, but I'm actually gonna shake these up in here. I'm gonna add a tad bit of vinegar and then we're gonna shake these up in the bowl. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of white wine vinegar across, just like that. And then I'm gonna shake these up in this bowl. And then once I shake them up, it'll look like they're little areas that ain't seasoned, we can hit them with a little bit of something. But I'm gonna shake these up like this. game guys so how I cook my lamb chops is on top of the stove we'll cook them we'll get them brown we'll get a nice look to them then we're gonna turn around and stick them in the oven so I'm gonna grab my avocado oil and get ready to pan sear these babies in one second all right guys so my potatoes are done boiling I have just to save some time I went ahead and peeled some I got one more potato to peel they're really hot Cut the edges off. This is the easy way that I peel my sweet potatoes. And then the skin comes right off. And I'll take any excess stuff that I don't like on there, little brown spots or whatever, extra skin, push that over and put it in the bowl. And all my potatoes are here. How I do my sweet potatoes is I make a sauce that I pour into the potatoes and then mix them up. So I'm gonna take one cup of water You want this to boil, so you want to put your fire on like a nice medium. It's a small saucepan, though. I'm going to 
gonna try to be, uh, I don't ever measure nothing. I said I was gonna try to be a little more professional. <laughs> it really ain't gonna work, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put um, a half a cup of uh, brown sugar. And I'm going to put, honestly, I don't measure the cinnamon to be totally honest with you. I'm just gonna sprinkle some cinnamon in here. And then I'm going to put, this is a fourth of a stick of butter. I'm not gonna put the whole thing in there. I took a tablespoon of it all because the measurements are already on the paper. And I stuck this in there. Then I'm gonna add some sugar. And I'm gonna tell you, I know it's gonna look like a lot of sugar and a lot of brown sugar, but sweet potatoes are kind of hard to sweeten and you want them to taste sweet and good. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with maybe like a half a cup of sugar. But to me, once you start blending this and cooking it, if it's not sweet enough, we're gonna add some maple syrup to it to make sure it's sweet. I don't really measure, I don't need a lot. I'm just gonna put a couple of little dribble droppers in there. I'm the type of cook who, you know, I taste stuff while it goes so I can make sure it's tasting like it needs to. But I like to stir this up real good. We're gonna let that boil, give it a few minutes. Once it starts boiling and your butter totally melts, you're gonna pour that into your sweet potatoes and we'll go from there. See that? And we are making. I'm gonna mash and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the mixer and give you that look you be looking for. But I'm mashing that saucy and let me tell y'all something. And let me say, just say this, you know, you can scoop, taste, if it's not sweet enough, Add a little maple syrup. I do the 100% pure maple syrup. Add a little maple syrup if you like, just to get it sweet exactly like you want it. Next, I'm gonna get the mixer and mix these babies up so you can have that whole mass sweet potato look. So this um, cast iron skillet is ready. I'm gonna start cooking the lamb chops for the cheetah. Cause I'm over here getting part of something to drink. Cause he's thirsty. And now we are going to blend this baby together. And right now, guys, this we have amazing. a nice bowl of sweet mashed potatoes. Now taste them to the sweetness that you like. And if you want to add something, add the maple syrup or add a little more brown sugar. These taste absolutely perfect. They're extremely yummy. Love that. So now it's time for the lamb chops. Kurt, do you want to do the honor? You can flip them. You want me to flip them? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's time to flip these. So you let me get seared. So it's like searing them on each side. And we like ours well done. And we like them well. Some people like rare. We don't like them rare, and we don't, we like them about like a medium well. See how this is cooking like this, but you, they're not cooked cooked on the inside. We're searing the outside, and then once we stick them in the oven, they're gonna be absolutely removed. And when I say these babies smell so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. And right at the end, I'm going to make an amazing sauce that we're going to pour over the top of these with our sweet potatoes and our spinach. And it is going to be everything sweet with the garlic seasoned taste of these lamb chops and those sweet potatoes and that spinach that I'm getting ready to cook in one second. Let me get ready for that. It's going to be amazing. So let's get ready to cook our spinach and we'll be good to go. Just so you know, Cook your lamb chops to the temperature you like, whether you like them rare, whether you like them medium well, whether you like them well done. Ours will be more on the medium well side. Almost ready, Carter. It'll be more on the medium well side, but right now what we're gonna do is we have the oven on 375, and we're going to stick these on the top rack in the oven in our cast iron skillet, and let them cook for like seven, eight minutes, not a long, long time, because we want them still really good and juicy. And in the process, because you know spinach don't take but a few minutes to cook, I'm gonna cook our spinach. Our mashed sweet potatoes are in the warming drawer, staying warm. And I'm getting ready to whip up some spinach. But I have to say this, can you take a look? Kirk has washed all the dishes. Like I told y'all, teamwork makes the dream work. Once we're done cooking, we can sit down and eat and enjoy the rest of the night without having to clean because we did it while we cooked. So now, 
I'm going to get my garlic. I chopped up some garlic. I didn't show y'all that. I'm sure y'all know how to do it. You can use the minced garlic that's already chopped up. Or you can chop up some fresh garlic. That's exactly what I did to make my spinach. And I'm going to throw that in the skillet real quick. So I'm going to let this cook. I have a little bit of avocado oil in the skillet. We're going to let this garlic cook for a few minutes. I have my spinach that Kirk has already rinsed. It's rinsed and clean. And I'm going to let this start sauteing. And then we're going to throw the spinach in here with a little bit of garlic butter. This is the garlic butter that I'm using. I get this from Kroger, y'all. It's the garlic butter with garlic, parmesan, and basil. And it's super yummy. So I'm going to put a scoop of this in there while I cook the spinach and season it with a little Tony's Creole garlic pepper, garlic powder. I know y'all like, damn, is that what y'all use? Yes, we eat a lot of garlic. Garlic is good for your heart. It's really good for you. And we try to eat as much of it as we can. And let's go ahead and throw a little bit of that garlic butter. And you could do like, this is like a tablespoon, a little more, I mean, a little more of a teaspoon. Put that in there so when you drop it, it just, you know it's gonna wilt down. Get it all in here with the avocado oil and the garlic. Smells so good, y'all don't even understand. And we're gonna go ahead, spread that around a little bit, and drop that baby in here. Yeah. Now, this might look like a lot, but y'all know it's for all y'all cookies. Y'all know spinach you don't need too much. But we don't need a whole, 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 whole lot. It's just me and Kirk and Carter. All right, so I'm gonna season that garlic powder. We got fresh garlic in the bottom of the skillet already. A little Tony's Creole for a little kick. Don't need a whole lot. And a little bit of garlic pepper. And I'll be back once this wilts down in about three minutes. <laughs> All right, guys. Seven, eight minutes later. Oh, yes. Look at that. Lamb chops are ready. This is our spinach which is a bag and a half of spinach that wilted all the way down to this, not much. And our sweet potatoes are in the warming drawer, so I'm gonna get our plates ready. We're gonna have a little bit of wine, and it's about to go big. Okay, guys, really quick, our machine is making a plate. I took a little bit of barbecue sauce, sweet and spicy, some lean pepper, and a dab of hot sauce. And this is the little sauce that's gonna go around the plate. You can taste it, make sure you like it. And we are at the end of the meal. All right, so our meal is complete. We have our lovely lollipop lamb chops, lamb chops with sweet mashed potatoes and garlic spinach with a little bit of Kirk special sauce. It is about to go down.